I love the aha moment about teaching. You can see a student that doesn't quite get it, and as you start to talk to them and explain it to them, they get it. You know, I like to see success in my students. I wish you could bottle it and show it to them, you know, this is what it's going to look like. After all the hard work, this is where it's going to be. Kirk is, without a doubt, a born teacher. He was made for this job. He knows what the kids need. He knows the best way to get it to them. He's always thinking, trying new things and thinking outside the box. My current position in the county is kind of a unique. I work half the day at my school, so first and second period I'm at East Duplin and I teach biology. And the other half of the day I travel around to the other high schools in the county and I'm a support system or a mentor for the other biology teachers in the county to try to help our proficiency scores come up on the end of course test. They wanted me to kind of go full time, but I didn't want to leave the classroom because when I go to those other teachers and I mentor them, I can tell them this is what I did today in my first period class. It's not something I did five years ago. It's something that I did today with my students and this clientele. And then when I go to those teachers, I also am in there working hands-on with them. So I teach their students sometimes, co-teach. I think Kirk makes our whole district better just from his experience, his ability to learn new things and share those new things. And he never shies away from teaching others. I mean, he is a teacher's teacher. The main thing that I feel Kirk influenced me as an educator uh, about would be my rigor. You know, he has high expectations. I, I guess I look at every kid and I think that every kid can master the concept. So I'm going to push them as high as I can get them to go. About four or five years ago, I started flipping my classroom in which I started doing instruction through a video process and then doing homework at, at school uh, because I felt like that when kids left the classroom, if you give homework at home, they get home, if they're doing it wrong, they do it wrong 20 times. You know, if they need help, they stop because there's no one there to help them. Uh, so it's really worked out for me. It's given me a way to, to differentiate in within my classroom because I can give that student that knows what they're doing. I can give them additional problems, let them work on that while well, I go and help the ones that are struggling. He manages his class well just through engaging students. And I think that's key. That's something that's hard to teach people. And you can teach beginning teachers that and tell them and tell them and tell them. Kurt internalized that. He, he understands the importance of keeping kids engaged. He just does a phenomenal job. And I think we're blessed to have him. The thing I find most exciting about teaching currently is um, really my girls. My girls are, are, are young, you know, uh, five and seven, and, and I know they're coming up in the school system. So what I find about it and exciting to me is that, first of all, I'm gonna be around long enough to teach them, you know, high school biology. I think that'd be like the, the coolest thing ever. Um, but also, I see all these young teachers coming in and, and, and how that they can be helped by mentors and other teachers and be better teachers for younger generations.